Recently, I have been seeing a freaking ton of videos of people saying that the Sacramento Kings are one of the winners of this offseason. How? Like seriously, can somebody explain that to me? Like, please, I, I need an explanation. I do not understand how you could really sit there and say that the Sacramento Kings are winners of this offseason. I will say that they did do very well in the draft, drafting Yaron Fox, Justin Jackson, and taking the risk on Harry Giles, who, by the way, I think will be, at the very least, if injuries don't hold him back, a very good role player. When I was sitting there watching the draft, I was like, damn, the Kings might actually be on the right track for once. But when free agency started, I was like, nope, back on the wrong track. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, basically, Basically, the Kings went ahead and signed Zach Randolph, George Hill, and Vince Carter. Why? George Hill plays the same position as De'Aaron Fox. And you might say, okay, well, just move George Hill to shooting guard. Well, guess what? They have Buddy Hill, the shooting guard, another young player they want to progress. And I'm sure George Hill won't take too kindly to being brought off the bench. Vince Carter plays small forward. Justin Jackson plays small forward. Now you could say, well, Vince Carter, he won't mind coming off the bench. Which is true, but you guys might have forgot the Kings have Mr. Tyreek Evans in the rotation. And we've all seen that three players playing in the same position, all worthy of decent minutes on the same team, does not work out. Zach Randolph is a big man. Harry Giles is a big man. Do you know who else the Kings have that are big men? I'll name you. I'll, I'll name them all to you. Scalabissier, Willie Cauley Stein, and George Papayanis. Five big men. I, I'm not sure you heard me right, so, so let me just say five big men at the same time on the same team. Now having five big men would be okay if two or three of them were D-League players or scrubs, but no, you have five big men. All good, all with very high potential except Zach Randolph. All five of them want playing time and four of them need to prove that they are good up and coming players in the NBA. Do you not see the issue with that? Another thing, if the Kings are in rebuilding mode and are going for a youth movement, then why would they get three veterans all ready to play, all ready to win, and put them on the same roster with rookies who are trying to improve and just trying to get the feel of the NBA? It does not make sense, Sacramento. What is the point of getting young talent, giving them little to no playing time, go get three 30 plus year old people who have no part of your future and you give them all the playing time? Anyway guys, that was a short little rant and let me just reiterate, I'm not a Kings fan whatsoever thank god and i really care about what they do very little i just found it dumb that people calling them winners of this offseason when in reality all they did was create a log jam in their roster i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave a like subscribe you already know i'll be dropping fire content for you guys very soon and i'll catch you guys in the next one